Hi guys, nice day. This is Adrian, and nice to meet you guys again here. And today, I would like to introduce you guys about the latest CMS software of HiCam IP Pro Devia, which is also known as Easy Cloud. So, you may download the software from this link, and you can copy. This link is also available below the tutorial video in the YouTube. So open the browser, and paste the link, enter, yep, so this is the page and we should proceed with download, download, so we can see that the file is downloading here so as soon as the download is completed we can turn on the folder here okay so this is the downloaded folder and we should extract it here extract okay so this is the extracted file and we can double click to enter the folder and the first one is the CMS user manual and the second one is the installer of first EC Cloud CMS. And to install this new CMS, we should double click on this, double click, and press it with yes. English, yeah, you can change language here. Okay, I agree, and install. And if it takes some time for the installations. Just wait for a second. It's almost fifty percent. Yeah, eighty percent. So this new CMS is quite user friendly compared to the old one. So the installation has been completed and just click on finish. So we can go back to the main screen. So this is the installed EC Cloud CMS here. Double click to turn it on and proceed with yes. So the CMS is opening now. Okay, just press login. Okay. So the very first thing is that you can change the language of this software CMS according to the user. And the most important thing I would like to teach you first is how to add your device or your DVR into this CMS system. So we should go to the third icon or the third button which is device management. Okay, you can see in this uh, very first column here is a cloud ID. Please check your HiCam IP Pro DVR cloud ID and insert it here. So the cloud ID of my DVR is 6414x6115. And please also insert the username and password of your DVR. The default username of the DVR is uh, admin and the default password of HiCam IP Pro DVR is blank, is empty. However, if you have changed or edited the password of your DVR, please remember to insert the new password here as well. So, this is my password and note will be the given name to your device or DVR. I will say uh, Adrian DVR. Okay, and the number of channel. Um, I have a 8 channel of DVR so I will change this to 8 and the type of my device type of my device will be DVR it's a DVR okay so everything is done and proceed with add button okay so you can see that the device is shown on the right hand side so the device is added successfully so that's how you 
add your device or DVI into this CMS. Okay, now I will teach you about the live view of the DVR. So to go to the live view, you should click on the first button here, which is live view. And you can see that this is my DVR that I have added here. And on the right hand side, you can see there's a play icon. Press on this icon to play all this video. So in total, I have a 8 channels DVR. And you can press on the same icon again to stop all this playing video. Besides, uh, we can also like play this each channel of this DVR individually. So I would let's say I will play channel one, channel three, and channel five. So this is how we can play them individually. Okay, besides, we can double click on each channel to enlarge the video. So let's say I will double click on channel 1, enlarge, okay, and double click to minimize. Yep. So there's a more important tools or functions which is a switch stream you can see here. And you can click on this, and you will see there's a SD and HD. You can press on SD. SD is for soft decod, so the video is smoother, but the image is um, is a bit unclear. Yeah, and then you can switch it back to HD, stand for hard decod. Hard decod is for full HD of video. Yeah, and then we can also uh, screenshot the live view of each channel. Screenshot. And then the image is stored here. You can click on here, and then you can see this is the snapshot that I have that we got just now. Beside the snapshot, we can also record the live view of each channel. So it's recording here, you can see it, and I will press the second time to end the record. So the video record is uh, located here and you can double click on it to play the video so yeah this is the video that I have recorded just now okay so you go back here um, there is another thing we can change the speed screen of this uh, CMS so I have 1 until 64 of speed screen so for eight, I will change it to 8 so I have an 8 speed screen if you have more channel or you have multiple DVR, you can change it to 36, 49, or 64, and so on. So yeah, this is a 36 speed screen. So that's all for the live view. Now we will proceed to the playback functions of the CMS. So press on the second button, playback. Okay, so there is a four speed screen here. Um, this on the right hand side it will be my DVR, agent DVR, and okay, there are some steps that we need to do to search for the video. So the first step, we have to select the number of channel that you are looking for. Let's say I have a channel three. Okay, after selected the channel, and we have to select the date. Let's say I will have a twelve of December yeah this is you can change the month here and this is the date so 12 December and press search and then this is a 00, zero until 00. zero so this is a 24 hour system 24 hour time frame and we can double click to enlarge it double click to enlarge and we can press on this time frame to change the time so it will be 10 in the morning 10 in the morning and we can pause it so the time is paused and you can play to continue the video and you can stop as well you can press stop to end to end the video so okay and there are some 
functions that you can use to in this uh, Playdeck interface. So the first function is a screenshot. So you can have a click on this screenshot. The image is stored here. Press on here. So this is the image that I have to taken just now. And the second function is a record. You can record the playback. Press for the first time. The video is recording now. And press on the second time to end the record. So the video is recorded here. Press on it. And yep, this is my video. Double click to play it. This is the video that I have recorded in the playback interface. Close it. Okay. And we can change the speed screen to 4. So this is channel 2, right? I will try on another channel. So just select the second screen here and select channel 1. Channel 1 and select the date. Let's say I have a 10, 10 of December and press search. So, okay, so double click to enlarge. So we have this is like December, 10th of December. And this is, um, this is 12th of December. Yeah. So you can play both channel, different channel, the different time, different date. So you have four speed screens, which means you can play four channels of video in different time, different date, individually. So that's all for the video playback and we will go for the video backup. Now I will teach you how to backup the video using the CMS. So to backup the video, please go to the fourth button, resource management. So click on it. Okay. You can always see that it's my DVR here on the right hand side and it's the date. So click on it. So you have channel 1 until channel 8 because I have an 8 channel of DVR. So I will check on channel 1. Channel okay, channel 1 is selected and I will check select on the date. Let's say I have a 13. 13 of December and I will click search. Okay, so you can see this for the very first column is the number of channel and the second column is the beginning time and the third column is the end time. So this is the first channel, channel number one, which I have selected just now. And this is the time. So what you have to do, um, you have to select the video um, that you want to record or want to back up. Let's say I want to back up from um, 2 p.m. until 3 p.m. So I will select on this. Um, this is 2 p.m. will be like 14, and 2 3 p.m. will be like 15. So I will press on this button, download button. So it's downloading now. It's a one percent. So you will have to wait for um around one minute, yeah, to until the download to be completed. It's still downloading. You can see this uh, green bar here. So it will take some time. Okay, so the download is almost finished. Just few more couple seconds. So the backup video is downloaded 100%, and you can press on this green icon to turn on the folder. Okay, so the video was stored here and you can double click on this to play the video. So, enlarge. Okay, so this is on 13th of December, um, 2 p.m. Yep. And you can play on this video until the end, it will be around almost 3 p.m. Yep, this is 2.55. So this is the downloaded backup video. This is um, quite a simple way to backup your video through your CMS. 
So that's all for the video backup and thank you very much and I think that's all for the video tutorial of this new CMS. It's a quite user friendly and hope you guys enjoy it and thank you and have a nice day.